Hey guys, this is K Melody and it's talent on digital captures. Alright, welcome K Melody. Thank you. To digital captures. <laughs> yeah. You are the talent for today. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. Feeling good. Had a performance last night, so okay. it's a good experience. Aisha Peters, I was one of her opening acts for that. Okay, who's Aisha Peters? Aisha Peters, she was one of the band members, Trio, um, in the early 90s, called Fierce Girl Group. Okay. Um, so she had tunes out there reaching like number three in the charts. Uh -huh. um, exactly, UK. Yeah. So they was doing stuff, and she just literally came up with her solo EP. It's a love EP. Check it out, Spotify. Yeah, um, so she's doing big things at the moment. So that was a great experience with other artists as well. Yeah, and yeah. so yeah, I'm kind of just hanging it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <So> <laughs> bit where was that? Where was that? Where was that? <laughs> it was in Camden Lock, the bar and kitchen. Okay. Um, so it's a nice spot. You know, just people chilling, nice cozy. It was just vibes. It was vibes. So what type of, uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, no yeah doubt. So what type of music does she do? She does. R&B, so she comes from like the 80s era, she had a few beats of those and yeah, she keep it R&B but modernised as well, so her style is definitely my style, yeah. so yeah, Okay. stay uh, tuned for that, check it out anyway and you'll find out more. Definitely, so K okay, Melody, yeah. tell me a bit about yourself, you into music, and uh, like you said, uh, you opened up for the lovely Aisha. I did, so I did. what kind of music do you do? So I do R&B. Um, okay. Currently as well, creeping over to the Afrobeat side, Hindley, no, I don't even know that, but that's what All I'm right, doing. Okay. Um, but more R&B than anything, like literally just R&B is my thing. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and your music R&B, because you see for me, yeah. there's different R&B. Uh -huh. See, like for example, like, I would class someone like a Rihanna as a pop artist. Yeah. Because she covers all genres. Right. But my R&B, yeah. I would say would be like, late 80s early 90s that's yeah. what i'll go yeah yeah like that for me don't really exist so much you still got <laughs> old school artists like mary j right, kelly price right. they'll type Lauren of artists Hill. around yeah, still yeah. but not any new people that's got that old school feel so yes. when you talk say your r and artists yeah. what type of r&b would you say you hold your holding is yeah. it modern day or it's the old school. Old I mean, school. you can't not the old school, like the old best school, school, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you know, like the names you just said, Faith yeah. Evans, like Lauren Hill, yeah. like Destiny Child. That's the stuff I grew up on. So yeah, that's what I was constantly drilling in my head. So it's just like as I got older, I always had that type of feel for R and B. Like I connect still the music of today, but. I don't think it's got that heartfelt. I mean, there's a few artists coming out doing it, so it's mm. glad to see. But yeah, I have, I'm trying to bring that back myself personally as well. So yeah. So who is your major influences? Like, oh music gosh, like, again. Like in this list. Or? Yeah, are you talking about now or back um, then? Yeah, from then till now. Like, yeah. Who, who, who do you listen to currently at the moment? At the moment, I've been listening to Georgia Smith. Okay. Uh, she's, she's an English artist. Yeah. Right? Really good, right? Really, really good. Yeah. Like, her album is banging. I find and she reminds me kind of. Um, <coughs> oh, oh my god, how would I forget the lady that passed away? What's the one that passed away? Um, Beehive. Oh gosh. The, from Camden, Beehive Girl. Oh, Amy Winehouse. Right. She's got that type of uh, yes. sound. Yes, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Real, real, yeah. real nice. Real Proper, nice. like, just, yeah. yeah feather, yeah. like, feather voice. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, yeah, so I have. Mm -hmm. yeah. And who else? You said um, LMA? LMA. She was on the um uh, one of the programmes. Uh, X-Factor. X -Factor. Yeah, oh, X -Factor. I got told that. I didn't, I I didn't even know that. Yeah, I didn't even remember even seeing it on there. Oh, but yeah. she's doing big things. So she's been working. Well, I think she was studying in the States and she came over. Okay. And so she's always been kind of flowing between here and okay. the US. But okay. yeah, she's the next big one that I can't listen to. Yeah. Um, Ray Black. Yeah, it's the next one I don't think I've heard of Yeah, it. check her out. Okay, so yeah. Black. Okay, but yeah, check her out. She's really good. Okay, I'll check um, her out. Who else have I listened to? Drizzy. Drizzy's more like that type of... Kind of... She's like a... Um, can I explain it? Like more rap. But then she sings as well, so she does both. She's done a tune with T-Pain ages ago. Okay. So yeah, like between them, it's kind of like, yeah. I'm just... Yeah, I'm talking about yeah. Um, <laughs> rapping because... <laughs> On your single, I've heard it before. Yes. I noticed that, you know, I think a little bit before the end. Yes. There's a little <laughs> 16 in there, something, uh, getting you a little rapid. So, so, do you rap as well, or is it just a one off? Or? I don't really. 
really rap, you know, and you know what? I don't even see it as rap. Okay. I more see it as, I don't know, I'm just speaking what I'm saying, like, yeah. rather than singing it, I'm speaking it, yeah. like, but it's rap, yeah. it is rap, yeah. but no, weirdly, but you know, for me, like, I wouldn't even put, like, okay, on my page, right. sing or songwriter, right, rapper, oh, okay. it's one of them things where I just say sing or songwriter, and then you might hear me drop a few yeah. bars in between, but yeah, it's really that, but, um, yeah. I personally like it, because, Thank you. you know, I, I, I don't know if other people can, and hopefully everyone that watches this, that, Pay attention to the sound, you got like a little bit of in there and all this stuff, a little added part. I know. Like, you know, so you got a bit of skill in there, you Thank got to jump a little thing in there. Trying. You know, it kind of reminds me of like, you know, like we've got the trap music out there. <laughs> yeah. We do a lot of these sounds where with old school rap, it was more just lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got these little touches in there, which I thought was quite, yeah. quite neat. Giant, giant. So, so tell us a bit more about her before and what is it about? Hurt before mm. is basically about, you know, if you've been hurt before and it's not even a case again where saying to you yesterday that it's going to be a guy that you meet and he might have been hurt before, you know, and sometimes we think, oh, he don't want to take the next step, he's probably got a woman or he's got a, no wonder to yourself, maybe he might have been hurt before, he might have been hurt by people, you know what I mean, and he don't want to take the risk because he's thinking, I'm not ever going to let a lover chick. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. And it's the same for women as well. So, fellas, if you see a girl, it's not because oh, she's acting still. She's maybe you should have been hurt before. And it's us kind of learning yeah. to leave what we had in the past there and move on, you know? Open, right. Open new doors. You know, don't think about what happened before. Yeah, you've been hurt before, but open new doors. Meet someone new and build your empire once you're happy and fly to the highest heights. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. So now, maybe a question that a lot of people might want to ask. Yeah. Because hurt before, like you said, it could be like through past experiences. Yes. And, you know, people are a bit worried about taking the next step. I've been through it. Right. Yeah, all been through it. Yeah. yeah. So, how do we know, mm -hmm. like, when it's worth giving it a try? Like, what do do you think, ladies or gentlemen? Yeah. I just think so, and I don't know, I'm quite old school as well, at the same time I think because I've been hurt before, I can kind of be cold and I need to be cold, but I think kind of getting an understanding of knowing, you know, I think you'll just know, when the people say that you'll know, you actually do know, do you know what I mean, like you know if that person, you, you feel it in your gut, and you see if they're moving for you correctly, then you've got to move for them correctly, do you know what I mean, and understand that if they're busy going, they're out doing their thing, give them that space to do their thing, do you know what I mean, and, it's the balance, it's just understanding, not doing too much but not doing too little, you know, and catering to each other. Because I think everyone's so new school where they just they jump bubble too quick rather than trying them to work it out. Do you know what I mean? If you really check for someone, check for them and you know, not because I'm they're nice but if I get a come part of that. Yeah. Oh, I'm a sucker for the Oh you know, I know. Don't get me wrong, we all be looking, but you know, some people look and they just and then forget about what they you know. Right, so, so, like, man, keep cool, guys. Right, just because you don't put it, that means that you can cook or, you know, because I'm telling you, the grass is all not free now, so. Little, I mean, you know, I, 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 I think, uh, especially with media these days, mm -hmm. you've got, like, a, a lot of things, especially, like, say, with, like, Instagram and stuff like that, you've got, like, a lot of girls that, um, I don't know so much about London, but yeah. I do find it in London too, but more I'll say about the States. Where it's like the guys that they find themselves being attracted to mm -hmm. would be still that, you know, that old school thing where it's like bling bling and yeah. the, the, the whip and if they got this and all that. And it's almost like the love comes second or third to the things that they might have. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, what would you tell people that are looking at the aesthetic side of things like over? the love which is the most important yeah it is it is and i just think materialistic things are all the things that you think you know tomorrow could not even come mm. you know but at the same time when you leave the people that you have left behind will love you more and you can't even take the stuff that you're looking at and that you're really praying on road do you see what i'm saying so it's just like check for the people that love you mm. and that will come regardless you know, you can balance the two, but one thing you can't balance is love. And, in, do you know what I'm saying? It's either like, you can't do that and expect love to still be there. Okay. And you can't do love and expect that to still be there. So it's a kind of a balance, isn't it? But you can't forget the love side because 
That comes first, and those are the people that are going to check for you when you're gone, rather than all the mischievous things that he's watching when he's currently here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so that would be my thing. Would you um say that I think people would actually being hurt as mm -hmm. much as this painful thing to go through is actually maybe one of the best lessons to go through to know what is right. Definitely. Like even my lyrics, that's my lyrics. Yeah. That is my lyrics. Like it was a lesson learned. Like I've been burnt, yeah. but it was a lesson learned. Yeah. Like, you know, I think even when you're burnt it's lesson learned and you just move on. Move on. Like I know that okay, cool. You can check you get meet a guy and he looks the same or not even looks the same but just does that um, and then again you can't even judge because mm. again that's you looking back in the past mm. but you know what you've done wrong last time, what you felt you've done wrong personally mm. last time and then you just do a bit next time and try it. And okay, I know that's okay. what you can do, yeah. This is Kate Melody's advice, ladies and gents. Make sure you take <laughs> note. And if you don't know what she's saying right now, listen to the tune heard before. Yes. Yeah, and where can they see this tune? Where can they find on it? YouTube. On YouTube. Literally, Kay Melody heard before. Yeah. So literally, K is just K yeah. Melody heard before. So you'll find the links on my pages on Instagram. Okay. Underscore K underscore yeah. Melody. Right. Now, I think your first for your first shoot, <laughs> it was shot beautifully. Thank like, you. Like you made England look like it had come up in here. <laughs> <laughs> they call a good day or days, I don't know. It was a hot day. You, you like, you know, we've had this, like, two months of Yeah, and, and, and Kate Melody's wearing all white, guys. Holy. In the video, and it looks <laughs> bad, I'm telling you, man. And the blue hair, as you can see, like, you know, <laughs> slick. So, yeah, man, you love those good days. You had the water fountain. Yeah, it might have been the old school yeah. chat. Yeah. Oh. So, Kate Melody. Yeah. Right, so <laughs> I, I heard that you had this other track called Levels. I do. Levels to me is a totally different style. <laughs> I think that's very unique, especially for a British artists, because I find, like I said, a lot of people stick to what is safe. Yeah. And they find like a music that they could hold on to. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like them for it, they like them for it. Mm -hmm. But you're surprising me. <laughs> like, I heard it for the first time last night. Yes. And I was taking my surprise and I forgot all your fans. Yeah, it's better. Future fans. <laughs> and if they're not fans of RB, would be fans of yours now because of this Afrobeat mix that you've got right now. Thank you. So tell me a bit about Levels. So Levels, like literally, my friend D Z L Beats, he made the beat um, and he just gave me this beat and he was just like, right. And I asked him, like, I need something different. I just felt like I wanted some RB. I love RB, that's my thing. But I just wanted something more up tempo, more, you know, not so. Uh, do you know what I mean? Because I've got so many tracks like that I haven't even dealt with yet. But I just felt, no, just more like RB beats. But obviously, it's just like, I kind of wanted to move away from that, have something more up tempo and stuff. So, levels are just literally like, you know, it's, it's, I can't, how can I explain it? It's just like one of the things where, again, girl and guy type situation like ladies there's gonna be haters out there we know that but <laughs> make your money here <laughs> wave goodbye and fellas yes we know there's gonna be ladies out there but you're with your queen bees you get what i'm saying and just keep shining with the stunners and yeah so it's just a bit of it's fun but it's you know i hope people can relate to it yeah, but yeah it's really good i mean like like i said like to jump on something else <laughs> like you said you're old school uh -huh. and um, like I said, to jump on different genres of music, sometimes people don't take it well. Yeah. You took to it quite well, you fuse together. Thank like, you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's kind of unique because I don't really hate any women doing it. Mm -hmm. It's mainly like guys are only Yeah, 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 like, exactly. Like, so I think if you get out there, where, where are you from, man? I'm from Jamaica, actually. Yeah. Both sides, yeah. Full <laughs> <laughs> Jamaica, full yeah, Jamaica. Yeah, and Afro, there's, there's like a, a fuse between the, the dancehall scene now and the Afro. There is, there is. They're so close. Easy. So I definitely think that you did very well. Thank you. Together. And um, yeah, I mean, when you got given the beat of the beat get produced for you. Um, it didn't get produced for me again. He had the beat and he was just like, and I said to him after hurt before, and I've had a few other beats as well that I wasn't really clicking with. So I was like, just give me something up tempo, give me something Afro beaty, like just give me something that I can just so come with this beat. And I actually had it for a little while, 
but I was still kind of like doing, you know, my covers and just writing to normal stuff and whatever. And then like, one time I switched to summer, so I was just you like... just sitting on a classic because you've got it like that. Uh, yeah, it was just a beat though. You know when the ones you go to it and at that time, I didn't have nothing to... So I kind of came back to it and I was just like, oh. And that's what I was feeling it and I sent it to him. And he was like, you're crazy, like, get in the studio quick fast. And yesterday was my first time performing it, so... Yes, exclusive, hasn't been heard before at all. So you <laughs> baby, you know what I mean? Now how, so when you, um, we, we found the beat, mm -hmm. how long did it take you to the right? So you know what, I'm feeling this, I'm going to write this. Like, how long did it take you to the uh, I think he gave me the beat, when did he give me the beat? Probably gave me the beat about maybe... April, okay. April times. No, because I'm studying music as well now. So it's just like because I'm studying music and I'm doing that and I'm doing that, I kind of had time to do my assessments and do all that. So literally, I'm juggling a lot right now. But um, yeah, and then I think it was the beginning of June, if not the end of May, we actually had it and I sent it to him. I was just like, yeah. And then, yeah, I got in the studio, so it's been recorded right, so already. So, like for anybody that's looking to start off in music, yeah, sing a song or just you know, mm -hmm. give songs to songs. Yeah, yeah. But, um, what would you say is a technique to write in a beat? Would you be like you have your own lyrics ready written down before, and then you just hear a beat and see the goals? Or do yeah. You when I first started, I actually just used to write lyrics, like no beats. I have even songs in my book where it's just lyrics, but there's no beats to it. And I kind of found it. Literally, it was just a melody in my head to no melody, but it worked. <laughs> Until I kind of was finding it hard to actually find a beat that connected to that, or it was a beat that was already out there. But you know you can't even, do you know what I mean? So I needed a kind of beat, so I actually do need to go back and work on those ones. A lot of underground artists that have beautiful music and they come out in the pop world and it's changed. So, what would you say to people that uh, like, want to keep their music pure, but want to blow up? Is there a way to do that? Or do you think you just have to stay true to what you do and... Yeah, I just think it's a case where music these days, you have to connect with the music. Like, that's first and foremost. Like, from you connect with it, obviously not all these tracks are your cup of tea. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But from you connect with it, yeah. then definitely it's the, it's the way forward. And just having a catchy beat or catchy lyrics, or I think that's the way. From you've got that going on, anything you do will be possible. Do you know what I mean?